WSC No Mercy is on the horizon and we've got a great card lined up and we're going to break down every single match right now starting off with my match with Seth freaking Rollins and myself Nathan the stage creator the drip gods defending the WSC hardcore tag team championships against the Paul brothers Logan and Jake Paul and the Usos Jay and Jimmy in a tables ladders and chairs match and this is a match that I wanted because the Paul brothers Brothers, they came in they attacked me they disrespected me they cut off my mullet and then the Usos we beat them to win the hardcore tag team championships but they still want a piece of us and I know that they're gonna be coming for us whether we like it or not so I want to take them out of the equation right here and Seth agrees with me and this team with Seth this has been so great me and Seth have such great chemistry in the ring and I was on the verge of retirement Seth Rollins the visionary that he is he knew that us together we could be such a great team and he showed me and he's taught me so much the drip he's got me dripped out and we're gonna come out there and we're gonna win hopefully everything goes well and we win those championships we retain the titles but you know the Paul brothers Jake Paul debuting for the first time in the ring Logan Paul debuted at Wrestlemania in WSC the Usos one of the toughest one of the greatest teams of all time this is gonna be an absolute banger and it will kick off the show and recently MJF one of my buddies you know he came into WSC great prospect he's a really good dude we've become friends Friends and you know everybody has this perception about him but I know him behind closed doors he's a good guy and you know he's looking out for me and he, he thinks that I'm too nice he thinks that I should toughen up a bit and be a bit more aggressive and you know in this match I do have some scores to settle so I think a little bit of a mean streak might be coming out on my part but the drip gods for the win, let me know down below if you're riding with us. Next match, we have the dream match. First time ever in WSC, CM Punk versus AJ Styles. And this has been brewing ever since WrestleMania. The Money in the Bank contract will be on the line. AJ Styles won the Money in the Bank contract at WrestleMania. And he has never won a championship in WSC. So he wants to cash that contract in and win some gold. But unfortunately for him, he has not been able to do that. CM Punk cost him that opportunity at Wrestlemania he is still Mr. Money in the Bank but AJ Styles came in there he wanted to cash it in Deadly Games he couldn't he came in there in the Brock Lesnar and Cody Rhodes match he couldn't get the job done there and CM Punk's been calling him out he says that AJ Styles cannot get the job done he doesn't have what it takes and CM Punk wants that money in the bank contract and we're gonna find out who the better man is and this is gonna be a really good match to settle the score between the two next match on the card we have Brock Lesnar versus Fat Bastard one of the matches I'm looking forward to most on the show and Fat Bastard he arrived on the scene a few years ago he got his hand eaten off by zombie Bray Wyatt and ever since then he's picked up a lot of fans and he's re-emerged recently with his thick chicks preaching the message that fat is the way he loves being fat he doesn't understand why people shame being fat and you know he's just preaching it he loves big things he loves big women big meals and he's quite literally repulsed by you know skinny people he thinks they need to eat more and Brock Lesnar has a opposing opinion his philosophy is that he hates fat people he's kind of a fat phobe and he attacked fat bastard targeted him and Brock Lesnar was eliminated by fat bastard in the Royal Rumble and that is really heated up this rivalry Brock Lesnar and Fat Bastard have some serious beef, opposing views. Brock Lesnar in a very bad mood after losing at the Deadly Games, losing to Cody Rhodes. So he wants to absolutely obliterate Fat Bastard here at No Mercy. And I'm kind of worried about putting, you know, his name in the title I, because it's kind of a swear word. So maybe I'll change it up or something. But this match is going to be a lot of fun. Next match on the card, we have Roman Reigns defending the Multiversal Championship against Shrek and some mystery opponents so this is a multiversal invitational which means 
I'm going to open the portal and whoever comes in is going to be a challenger to Roman Reigns. It's an open invitation, so Roman Reigns is going to be in for one hell of a surprise in a match that he's never quite faced. He's never faced anybody quite like Shrek one of the greatest multiversal champions of all time. So this is going to be a lot of fun and going to be very interesting. Roman Reigns, a very dominant hardcore champion, but now in this environment, what's it going to be like for Roman Reigns? How is he going to deal with it? We'll have to wait and see. Then we got a fatal four-way match for a number one contendership of the WSC World Hardcore Championship. We got some new faces in the division right now, and whoever wins this is going to face the winner of Moxley and Cody Rhodes. It is Kenny Omega versus Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton versus Austin Theory, and all these men had some great showings in the Royal Rumble, so that's why they are going to be in this Fatal 4-Way match. We've obviously been seeing Theory in this transformation, going with Mick Foley and training, and he's really toughened up, he's really changed his attitude, but we also have Randy Orton, who re-emerged recently, and he put the offer out there for Theory to join him and be under his tutelage, so we'll have to see if that any of that comes into play. Daniel Bryan and Kenny Omega, two of the greatest wrestlers of all time a lot of you want to see Kenny Omega get the push in WSC so we'll have to wait and see how he performs in this match first match on a WSC pay-per-view for Kenny Omega and Daniel Bryan so that should be a fun match and then we got the main event the match you've all been waiting for the biggest possibly the biggest match of WSC this year maybe even bigger than Deadly Games Joker John Moxley challenging the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes for the WSC World Hardcore Championship in a No Mercy match. At the start of it all, Cody wanted to help Joker John Moxley. He knows that this Joker persona is a result of the depression, the, the mental issues that he's going through after all the stuff that's happened with the Shield, with the No Mercy match, how he's almost killed there. It's brought back this traumatic monster that is Joker John Moxley. Joker John Moxley has taken things to a whole new level, made it really personal with Cody Rhodes when he smashed that barbed wire baseball bat over the head of Dustin Rhodes, Goldust, Cody Rhodes' brother, while Cody Rhodes was defenseless, handcuffed to the rope. But now what he's done to Dustin Rhodes, Cody Rhodes cannot stand idly by and let Joker John Moxley unleash chaos like this anymore. He has to put an end to the Joker here at No Mercy. They're basically signing away their rights, their lives in this match. Anything can happen and it's going to get super violent. And Joker John Moxley has just come in with a whole new attitude. We saw him as John Moxley back in the last No Mercy match, the first ever No Mercy match with Roman Reigns, the greatest WSC match of all time, in my opinion. And that was absolutely insane. And we saw that he was... He was basically almost killed by Roman Reigns with that ambulance into the car when he was strapped in that straight jacket and now he's come back and he's got a different shift in attitude. He's got the Agents of Chaos with him, Cesaro, Eddie Kingston, Willie Yuta. They have a mission to bring back violence to this generation, to toughen up this next generation of wrestlers and spread their message of violence and no mercy in WSC. And he wants that five time mox. He wants to be world hardcore champion once again. And the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes, he was able to eliminate Joker John Moxley in the Royal Rumble. He's been a great champion ever since winning the deadly games at wrestlemania he's done big things beat roman reigns beat brock lesnar and now he faces the probably the toughest challenge yet with joker john moxley the most violent dangerous man in wsc the greatest wsc hardcore champion of all time so this is going to be hectic it's going to be crazy and a lot of you are speculating if it's going to even come close to Roman and Mox. And, you know, I can't say for sure, but I think it could very well top it because there's some crazy things I have in mind and in store. But this match is going to be epic. I really can't wait to get this done. 
And yeah, this whole show is going to be a lot of fun. This is the second WSC pay-per-view premium live event, whatever you want to call it. After the success of WrestleMania, the highest viewed, I believe, action figure show of all time, which is amazing. That's really, really cool, especially since I never thought I would ever do action figure pay-per-views. So you guys really enjoy it and you want to see more pay-per-views, then we could very well see more pay-per-views coming from WSC. Each match will come out in individually and then the full show just like Wrestlemania I expect the full show to come out in sometime in December I would say depending on how long it takes to film everything but I want to hear your predictions I really enjoyed your Wrestlemania video predictions those of you who posted on YouTube and Instagram go ahead and do that if you like to post your predictions for No Mercy I'd love to see them comment down below your predictions the matches you're most looking forward to on the show please smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already now I'll see you guys at no mercy.